do you find that you overly regret the life stuff? I know you feel like you had kids too late, right? Yes, had had yes, absolutely without question. Yes, a, a crucial um, yes. And that's a thing that makes you feel bad mistake. But but now your relationship with your son Harry is seems to be your most cherished thing, right? You know, it's like every parent. There was a, t- a time when uh, I should have addressed parenthood and delayed it and delayed it and delayed it because I thought, holy crap, are you kidding me? It's a TV show. There's nothing more important than a TV show. Leave me alone. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, and then we had. Do you era. ever think, though, like you waited too long, you still had a great kid, you still have an amazing relationship with the kid. Mm-hmm. There is something to making a great thing. Uh, <laughs> right. Yes. And I'm not talking about Emmys. I'm, not, I'm talking no, about no, like no. literally you, the day to day. Yes. You're, you're correct about that. There is, that's uh, a lovely part of life being able to do that. Uh, I'm just not convinced that that's what I did, but, uh, let's, you know that that's dysmorphia. Okay. But do, do you know what I mean? Like you did a great thing. Um, you know, when I have this conversation with my wife, which is, uh, hour to hour. Uh uh-huh, of course. She she always says, "Look, no, look at your you how many people did you employ? You had maybe a 100 people work for you. That's a great thing. That's something to be proud of." And I just think, "Wow. <laughs> you are on the wrong side of the freeway here. <laughs> you ran like it's like owning a carpet factory or something." Yeah, that's right. Like think about she, all the people. She always, the local economy. You're so, looking yeah, at the local that's economy. That's right. Yeah, uh, support your local merchants. Were there points in your life where you were like, "I'm like the conclusion of my show which is like I'm not very kind to myself and trying to find some semblance of self-acceptance. Were there moments in your life was having Harry helpful in terms of like contextualizing yourself or getting some, some perspective? Well, uh, what I learned eventually was I pursued a variety of things that would make me feel better about myself. And the thing that ultimately made me feel better about myself consistently was if I felt the show went okay, then I would feel better about myself. These 400 people reinforced and, and uh, eradicated, erased, or disguised my self-doubt for, for an hour. So then I would feel okay about myself. Uh, and then I, I was able to help with that uh, pharmaceutically. And, but the uh, Harry is, uh, represented actual love, Mm -hmm. actual love to me. Uh, you know, I, I love people in my life, but Harry was, uh, like ball lightning. I've heard that's the good stuff. Kids. For, for me it was, yes. But I was uh, so afraid that Harry wouldn't like me Mm -hmm. that uh, all I tried to do was entertain him. So I look back on it now and I think, well, that was a miserable thing to do to the kid. Uh, every night at bits? dinner. Uh, yeah, doing. I'm doing bits. That's right. Sock yes. puppets yeah. and, and food. And then I would try to engage him in improv at the dinner table <laughs> and he just would have none of it. Um. 